Hey guys, Chicky Domain, aka Debud, Debud.com, with your Wavemaster Surf Forecast update. This 30th anniversary Wavemaster is brought to you by Taco Lou. Guys, we've been monitoring the Southwest Caribbean in here through Cuba and Hispaniola and now in the Bahamas. A uh, surface trough has developed in here and no need for me to tell you the surf for this year's contest is going to be small, but there is a little silver lining. Sometimes these surface troughs can develop a east southeast fetch and provide a little small little bump um but unfortunately looking at the buoys uh we go over here to the northeast bahama buoy and we can see that winds on the northeast bahama buoy has been 10 knots or less for basically the last 24 hours and without any wind there are no waves uh we can go out a little further and look at the south bermuda buoy and on the south bermuda buoy we've had east southeast winds 10 to 15 knots was going 15 to 20 knots still a little leftover northeast ground swell at about 11 seconds at five foot but with all of the um offshore winds that we've had off the east coast of florida um there's really no chance of that trying to push all the way in. Um, we jump over here to the latest model forecast. This is last night's run of the GFS. And as you can see, this is for Sunday. Sunday, it's showing uh, some lower pressures right in here and some convection firing. Um, this is what we mean when we talk about models are hinting at an area of low pressure developing. And if you want to see it in motion, this is basically what it does. And it wants to attach it to the front, um, tail end of the front. And that's why we always tell you to watch the tail ends of fronts. So here's Sunday. And then going into Monday, you can see it wants to push it towards the northwest. And as it does, it attaches to the tail end of the front. And then it develops an area of low pressure. We'll back up just a little bit. Um, previous forecast was calling for high pressure to move off the east coast and the gradient be halfway tight to provide us with a little bump and swell and models have started trending negative on that. And as you can see, high pressure moves off. There is some Northeast flow, probably a little bit of Northeast swell coming off that low. Uh, but as we progress, high pressure shifts and settles down over Northeast Florida, winds relax and there's not enough Northeast winds to provide us with a solid bump. Um, we'll have a more complete detailed breakdown on Dabuh.com. So be sure to check that out. And that's D-A-B-U-H.com, Dabuh.com because sometimes size really does matter.